For the first time ever, the BuilderDude35 YouTube channel is hosting its very own robotics competition that you can compete in virtually. That's right, you get to compete against other members of the BuilderDude Nation and me. If you wanna figure out how you can enter this virtual competition and compete for bragging rights and prizes, you better stick around. What's up everyone, my name is Kyle and as you probably know, you are watching BuilderDude35, a YouTube channel all about LEGO Mindstorms. And today's video is special because for the first time ever, you can compete in a robotics competition hosted by me. How cool is that? This competition is called BuilderDude35's Line Following Challenge. And as the name suggests, you are going to be able to compete virtually by programming your very own line follower to compete against other members of the Builder Dude Nation and me. Any of you at home are eligible to apply and this will all be completely hosted virtually. So you don't have to show up to a physical location with a robot. We're going to use the Virtual Robotics Toolkit software to simulate uh, EV3 robots and that's what you're going to use to program your line follower and optionally you can also design your own robot and import it to VRT if you would like and we're going to use the virtual robotics games platform to host the competition with a leaderboard and I want you guys to record your runs as well so we can have a live stream watch party on September 24th to announce the results and watch all of your guys robot runs together. Hey guys this is Kyle from the future. Retrospectively I'm looking back on this video and I use virtual robotic games and robot virtual games interchangeably but the real name of the website the platform is actually robot virtual games. RVG is the official latest name of this platform just for clarification. The beauty of this is there's absolutely no cost to enter this competition. You don't even need to have a physical EV3 robot because it's all going to be virtually within the software and you're going to be able to use the 15 day free trial that comes with the VRT software. So really, truly, any one of you at home can participate in this competition. This project is sponsored and supported by Cognation Robotics. If you haven't heard of them yet, they're the folks that make the virtual robotics toolkit software, which I've covered extensively in a series of tutorials from a few years back. They're a really cool company who makes a very useful robotic simulation software for LEGO Mindstorms. One of the really cool things about Virtual Robotics Toolkit is an extension that they've made called Virtual Robotics Games, which is a site that they made to host robotics competitions that you can hold virtually. And that's what we're going to be using today for this uh, virtual robotics competition. And I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know to get started with uh, entering this competition and submitting in just a second. While we're here, we should also talk about prizes. So the winner of this competition, that is the person with the fastest time through this line following course, will be crowned the inaugural winner of BuilderDude35's virtual robotics competition, which is pretty cool and you get a lot of street cred among my almost 27,000 subscribers. But if that's not cool enough, the winner will also get a one year license to the virtual robotics toolkit software and you can use this to simulate your Mindstorms EV3 in all kinds of competition mats. This software is updated yearly with all of the new FLL and WRO competition mats so if you're on a competition team this will be a great asset to your team or if you're a hobbyist it's also fun to hone your robotic skills without the need for a physical EV3 and you can really build and program the virtual robot just like you would a physical robot. In addition to all of that, the line falling champion will be recognized on my social media pages as well as Cognation's own social media and the social media for robot virtual games. Some quick little logistical details. The competition opens today right now at the time of the recording of this video. So it's August 27th, 2021. And if you're watching this video, you are eligible to compete up until September 24th, 2021. So you guys have about four weeks to work on your robot to get it up to speed and to submit your, your result to the competition uh, and compete against other people. On that day, September 24th, 
at that Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, my normal video upload time, I'm going to have a live stream, the first ever Builder Dude 35 live stream, where we're going to uh, watch the results of the competition together. So as part of this competition, while you're going through and you're um, building your robot and you're submitting your results, I want you to record a screencast of your run and then submit it to me. So then I can assemble a playlist and we can all watch it together on that live stream on September 24th. So now I'm gonna walk you through all the steps necessary to register for this competition on the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. And our little adventure is going to start on my website. Yes, if you didn't know, I have a website and it's called BuilderDude35.com. In particular, we're going to navigate to the Virtual Robotics Toolkit tab, which is where I'm hosting a lot of the links that are relevant to this competition. And all of these links will have a copy of them in the video description of this video below. So in particular, the first order of business is you want to first make sure that you have downloaded and installed the Virtual Robotics Toolkit software. That's what this first link is right here. So you can go here and this has every dependency that you need to get the software running. So you'll also need the EV3 programming software, um, particularly the retail version, and uh, make sure that's downloaded and installed so you can program your virtual robot. Lego Digital Designer, if you choose to build your own robot and want to import a model, that, that part's optional because there is a provided model. The LDRAW all-in-one installer is another dependency and because that's the parts library that VRT uses to build your robot. So make sure all of these are installed as dependencies and then you can go and install the actual Virtual Robotics Toolkit VRT software. Anyway, going back to my website, this next step is optional, so if you're inclined to purchase a license for the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. Um, now, I will say that when you download the VRT on that first link I showed you, you will get a 15-day free trial. So you, you don't need to purchase a license if you don't wish, but should you decide to continue using the software after 15 days, which I recommend because I think the software is awesome, um, you can purchase a one-year license and um, that you can do through this link. And if you do choose to purchase a license, please do use this link because you will get a 10% discount and you'll also support me in the process, which is a very cool thing to do and I would really appreciate it. So something to keep in mind if you're considering getting a license for yourself. Um, there is going to be, by the time this video is published, this right here will actually have a link that leads to a copy of the competition rules. The competition is really going to be kind of informal, but if you just prefer to have everything in writing, uh, there will be a PDF document there for you to download, as well as the full instructions for signing into Virtual Robotic Games. This document, uh, which is this link right here, is uh, another PDF that you can use for reference, and this will tell you how to basically register for the competition. Uh, this PDF, again, is optional because I'm going to basically walk you through all of the steps of registering for the competition right now. To register for the competition, you need to log in to the Robot Virtual Games homepage. So click on this link right here. You're going to want to go ahead and search for competitions and look for my competition. So if you just type in Builder Dude 35 and click enter, uh, the very first result should be Builder Dude 35's line following challenge, which is the competition that you're going to be entering. So click on that, and you can see that uh, there's actually a leaderboard already, uh, which is me. Uh, I'm on the leaderboard already with a few other test results. And as you guys keep competing, the results will start populating up here. So to register to compete in this competition, what you want to do is click the green register button at the top of this page here. Go ahead and click on that and it's going to give you the option to either sign in with your email address and make a password or sign in with Microsoft. I find that signing in with Microsoft is the most convenient way to do it so if that's the way you want to go click on that. If you're signing up for VRG for the first time you might get an email to verify the email address that you use to log in so just make sure you check your email right after you go through this process and approve any um, kind of verification request that it makes of you. And that's all you really have to do to get registered for the Builder Dude 35 competition on VRG. And now it's time for you to make a submission 
to the competition. You're going to want to fire up the virtual robotics toolkit that you downloaded and installed earlier. So go ahead and launch that. And you'll notice that as soon as the software is launched, it opens two windows kind of stacked vertically. So the first window is the actual virtual robotics toolkit itself. And the second window should be the very familiar EV3 programming software. So you can go ahead and in the bottom window uh, for the EV3, open up a new project. Uh, just like that, you'll use the EV3 programming just like you use it for any other robot. And in this top window, we're going to want to sign in with the same username we use for virtual robotics games. So the software, VRT, knows that we're the same user and we're going to post all of our scores to virtual robotics games. So go ahead and close this window right here. And in the top bar here, you're going to want to select this which looks like a three pane window. Quick note that window that I just X'd out, you need to make sure you close it before you can interact with this top bar right here. So like I said, click on this three pane window and it's going to open a browser window where you can sign in with your Microsoft account yet again. So make sure you sign in with the same email address you used to make your account with virtual robotics games so it knows you're the same user and it will synchronize all of your scores. It's gonna go through a little loading screen, just wait for it to show up, and it will say not registered with any learning systems. Don't really worry about that. Go back to the top of the VRT and click open VRT in full screen to maximize this window. And you're gonna to wanna to click on the competitions button on the left and you should see BuilderDude35's line following challenge available as one of the competitions for you to enter. So click on that and it's going to load the arena for my virtual competition and you're also going to get a sample robot. So this is kind of what it looks like when we're all in here. It's a very wacky uh, line following course with my logo and if you're not familiar with using the VRT, just a quick little crash course, uh, the, the play button will start the simulation and you can interact with this virtual EV3 brick just the way you would with a regular EV3. So scrolling around, there are no programs on this brick to start uh, and you, I'll show you how to get a program in just a second. Um, but you can go to port view and use that for any kind of debugging or troubleshooting if you want. And a sample robot is ready here for you to use. It's got three color sensors in port one on the far left port two in the middle and port four all the way on the right and there's a gyro sensor in port three and the left drive motor is, is port B, the right drive motor is port C. So just real standard stuff. If you don't want to use a sample robot, you're welcome to import your own robot and that will give you a competitive edge if you want to purpose build something for this competition, but completely optional for you to do that. Um, what you will have to do, whether you import your own robot or use a sample robot, is make a program. And that's what we use the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 software for. So you can go ahead and use this just like it would be used with a regular EV3 and go ahead and make your very own line following program. You can make any style of line follower that you want as long as it gets the job done, right? And so just go ahead and start programming however you want. And when you are ready to download the program to your virtual robot, you'll notice in the connection screen in the bottom right, you just have robot available as a Wi-Fi connection. And so click on this little checkbox, and this is actually going to connect your virtual robot so you can download the program. Click download, and you'll hear the EV3 noise play. And now you see our project was downloaded to the robot, and you can click program to run this program. And if, if this little pop-up comes up, don't get scared. Just scroll up to the top here, click stop simulation, and uh, start the simulation again, and then click the play button on the EV3, and it will run your program. In the event that you tragically fall off the face of the cliff while debugging, all you have to do is just move your mouse up here and click stop simulation, and then pause the program on the EV3, and it will start you all over again. At this point, now you should have your real line following code either in progress or finished. And if you want to go ahead and run that, just open up that project, click play on the EV3 button, and make sure your simulation is running, and it should run your code just like this. Right now you can see my super wonky line following code that I'm using just for a sample demonstration running. I'll refine this a little bit more by the time the actual competition is running. 
Uh, but you can see the robot is running through the course and it is going to post a time when it crosses the finish if it finishes successfully. The way you can see the scoreboard is if you hover up here and click on scoreboard, you can see a running count of the time because this robot is, is being timed as it goes through the course and the robot that finishes with the fastest time through the course will be the winner. And now my example line follower is rounding the final corner and coming down the ramp and as soon as it finishes, as soon as it passes the finish line in front of the Builder Dude logo, uh, if it does this successfully, it will ask you, would you like to submit these results? Now this is important if you're just testing your robot, um, you're going to want to click no and the reason why is because you only get 10 possible submissions to the virtual robotics games and your best submission will be the one that goes on the leaderboard but if you if you click yes 10 times then you run out of submissions so make sure that you only click yes when you're ready to submit so you can see that my robot finished in 1 minute and 24 seconds and if I go back to the virtual robotics games website leaderboard and refresh that page uh, you're going to see that time is now my best time posted there and it counts the number of rounds that I've made so it says three rounds which I which means that I've used three of the ten attempts that are eligible for me to use towards this competition like I said make sure you save your submissions for the times that you're serious about submitting because you only get ten of them make sure that once you are ready to finally post a result to this leaderboard that you also go ahead and record your run and this is very important for the live stream that we're going to do eventually so this competition is going to be semi live and that you're going to be working on your own time to uh, prototype your very own line following program and then you're going to post your score to the leaderboard so we'll know ahead of time what the results are but what I want each and every one of you to do is to record your run just like I did right now use some kind of screen recording software on your computer I use OBS which is open broadcast software it looks something like this you're seeing it on my screen right now and it's gonna record everything that's on my screen so make sure you capture a video of your best run. So make sure that you're running OBS and start recording before you make your final run and then stop recording OBS afterwards. So then you have a video recording of that best run to go along with the score that you're posting on the leaderboard. Once you have a recording of your best run, upload it to YouTube as an unlisted video and then send me the link to that video through the contact me form on my website builderdude35.com so if we go back here to my website go to contact me and then write a message to me with your name uh, make sure in the subject you say um, you can say like um, VRG competition submission as your subject so I know exactly why you're emailing me and then put the link to that video of your run in your message and I'm going to add it to a playlist and we're going to watch a playlist of all of your video submissions on the day of the live stream together and that'll just give us a great way for us to watch your submissions together as a community and feel like the competition is semi live the deadline for you to get your submission in is going to be September 23rd at midnight on Eastern Standard Time or technically 1159 p.m on September 23rd Eastern Standard Time and that just gives me enough time to curate that playlist of all of your guys submissions that we're going to watch on the live stream on September 24th now I hope that you guys are super pumped about competing in this virtual robotics competition make sure that you submit your robot on or before September 23rd and tune in for that live stream on September 24th Remember that means posting your time to the leaderboard on virtual robotics games and emailing me a link to the YouTube video of your best run. And on September 24th, we're gonna get together on a live stream and watch everything together. It should be a lot of fun and I really hope you decide to participate. Good luck to all of you participating and see you later.